Hey guys, all right, so what we want to do now is we have our registration working, but we do want to have some validation. We don't want the user to be able to click register and then have a bunch of empty fields um, in our database. We also want um, to validate the email field, and we also want to validate the password confirmation. All right, so these two should match before submitting the form. So what I'm going to do is go to uh, register.php, okay, so basically our controller, and we have this register user, and what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to comment this stuff out because I want to be able to test the validation, but I don't want to add in a user every time we submit the form. So I'm going to comment this stuff out just for now. Um, and then after we, we do the validation, we'll throw this stuff back in. All right, so let's go to our uh, validator class in the libraries folder. And we're going to say class, whoop, we need our PHP tag. So class validator. And uh, if you're familiar with validation classes, um, this is going to be probably the simplest one you've ever seen. Uh, it's, it's basically we're just going to do those three things required email validation and password match okay so let's put in a comment here all right this is going to check required fields so public function is required all right, now this function is going to take in an array. Basically, it's going to be an array of fields that we, we want to be required. All right, and then we're going to for each loop through, through them. So we're going to say for each field array as field and we'll just do a simple if statement. I'm going to say if uh, if post uh, and then in here we just want to do that field. We want to add in field. All right. So we want to say as long as the post variable is if it's equal to nothing, then we're going to return false. All right, and then down here, obviously, we'll return true. Okay, so it's going to go through our required field array, um, which are going to be post values. And if they equal nothing, then this function is going to return false. All right, so we can actually use the function in an if statement in our controller. All right, next we want to uh, validate email. And we are using HTML5 and we're using the email input type, which also doesn't, I mean, if we go and try to submit this, Actually, it's not going to do it because we have the avatar. Um, even if we chose a, an avatar or whatever, uh, it wouldn't submit because if this wasn't an email address. But there's ways around that. So we, we want to do some server-side validation as well. All right, so we're going to say public um, is valid email. All right, so obviously we're going to pass in the email address. And um, we're going to use the filter var function. All right, so we're going to say filter var. And I mean, there's, a, there's a, a lot of different ways you can do this. You can use regular expressions, which is really popular. Um, but I'm just going to use this. It's much easier. So we want the field, and then we want to filter, uh, filter, validate 
email. Okay, and if that works out, then we're going to return true. Um, and then we're going to say else. Okay, we're going to uh, return false. So very simple function. Uh, and then the last one, we're going to check the passwords, the two password fields, and make sure that they match. Um, let's say check password match. All right, so public. can't type public function passwords match and this is going to take in um, the both password fields so we'll say pw1 and pw2 and very simple we're just going to say if pw1 is equal to pw2 then we're going to return true else we will return false all right so that's it for our validator class very simple let's save that and go back to register and close that template all right so let's um, paste in some code here all right, so let's take a look at what's happening. Um, we're going to say if, and then we're going to call, actually, we need to uh, instantiate our validation class. So up here, I'm going to create a validate object. OK, we'll call this validate is going to equal new validator. All right, so down here, we're going to call the methods we just created. We're going to say, um, actually, we need to create our required array. OK, so field array is going to equal array. And we want to just include the, the fields we want to be required. So name, email username um, password and password to all right and these should match your post names up here all right and then we're passing that into the is required function so we're just gonna check it if it's true then it'll keep going if it's false then it's gonna redirect and it's gonna give you an error um, and then here it's going to check for the valid email. If it passes, then we'll move on. If it doesn't, it'll just redirect and give you an error. And then finally, we're going to check to see if the passwords match. I'm going to throw in the password one and two uh, values. If it works, then what we're going to do is what we had, which is uh, register the user. So I'm going to copy that. We can actually get rid of this. Okay, and we're going to put that right in here. I wish you. I wish the format would stay after I copy and paste. I guess that's too much to ask. All right, so that's the avatar upload, then the registration. All right. So let's go ahead and save that. Um, and then I'm going to try to register a user. Syntax error, unexpected, is valid email. Uh, G string expecting variable. Public, oh, we didn't put in the word function. All right, so let's try to submit uh, with nothing. 
and we get please fill in all required fields even if we fill in name we still get that um, so let's fill in all required fields Jane Doe Jane at yahoo.com username Jane all right so what I'm going to do now is is purposely not match the passwords okay register your passwords did not match all right so let's do everything correctly and you choose an avatar and we'll say I am Jane register all right so our validation was passed and it looks like she was registered let's just check and there she is so that's our validation class um, and we will probably use it one more time uh, when we create our topic but in the next video uh, we're going to get into our login form so we can actually uh, log in as a user and also log out. So we'll do that next.